Hello, hello, hello. And welcome to more Pokemon Legends. Last time... We visited, what's the name? The Cobalt Highlands. I think that's the name. It's the Cobalt something. I'm pretty sure it's the Cobalt Highlands. Um, we visited the Cobalt Highlands. And we met Isad, a Diamond Clan member who was the Warden Vesculogen, who we now can call upon at any time to swim across the water, and why can't I remember her name? Swim, swim, swim. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. That's basically, I think, 90% of what I'm going to do today. I don't know if I'm going to make any progress whatsoever. I'm just going to run around in the water. <laughs> Why can't I not remember the other person's name? You know, the person that actually played a more significant part of the story? Uh... <laughs> Um, we met somebody, a warden of uh, Growlithe that turned into an Arcanine, became frenzied, and actually killed me once. Uh, can't remember her name. I met her. She was significant for like half an hour. <laughs> Polina? That, that actually sounds about right. I was like, I want to say her nickname began with an L. I think it was like Lena or something like that. Yeah, that, that sounds right. I can probably go and look myself. Why don't I just actually like switch over to the game? I didn't even start the music. Wow, I'm terrible at my job. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> the Cobalt Coastlands, not the Cobalt Highlands. Gosh dang it, I can't remember anything. Oh, she's not hanging around here anymore, I guess. Is she just back on the cliffside? I mean, maybe she is? Can I swim back to the cliffside? Can I jump off the side of the mountain to get to the cliffside? That's a nine tails. No, no, I cannot. I cannot I cannot jump off the side of the mountain. You know, I guess there's also fall damage, so I probably wouldn't want to do that. Oh, hello. Come on, get up there. I know you can. There we go. <laughs> Which way am I going? I want to go south, so I need to turn like 90 degrees, like this way. Still just chilling up there or no? Probably won't load in at this distance. I probably do just need to go back here and then just head up.
I also still need to catch a few Pokemon here, specifically from the... Um... Wow, my brain is not working today. Uh, the Space Time Rift. Because I think you can get the Magnemite family. I know I at least saw a Magnezone. No, you aren't hanging out up here. Oh. Okay. Um, in that case, let's remember how to push buttons. We'll go and, I guess, pick up that request. Nope, I want that. I want that. I like feather balls. Get me up. Get me up there. Come on, weirder. I know you can do it. There's some place in which you just... Haha! <laughs> You're interesting. Probably way too high leveled for me, but you're interesting. Well, I think I already have a bunch of you. Ah, I just want the pot pods. That's all that I want. I already have a machoke. A machop. Oh, I need to get off of you first. No, you don't. I do not. Get over here. Get over here. I'm going to say there's probably another one still running around. Oh, come on. Rude. <laughs> Fine. Send out tank. Send out the tank. Sure, I have one of you. That's not the right button. Uh, this is the right button. I have no idea. Well, we'll figure out the hard way then. Ow, excuse me, Vaporeon. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I probably need to revive you. I'll get your shiny stone eventually. One day. <laughs> One day I'll get your shiny stone. Oh, yeah, no, you're already tanked out. Um, give you that. And probably speed. Come on, buddy. Come over here. Macho, not the macho. There we go. You see me? Okay. I did not think that you saw me. And you know what? Fine. If it's a one on one, I think I can take it. Hey, I well, hope you're doing well. I am doing well. I hope you're doing well, too. See you hiding over there in the trees. What you doing there, buddy? Hey, you there. Survey Corps kid. I need your help catching a Pokemon. Construction Corps is busier than a... Ever these days, making all 
making homes for all the new people in the village. We just don't have enough labor to handle everything, so I figured, why not try and see if Pokemon can help us out? I searched around for a while for a revival Pokemon. Boy. I searched around for a while for a revival Pokemon. That wouldn't need much training. Why are you... Why? Why? And I was lucky enough to find an incredibly robust Pokemon called Machoke. I mean, the one that I just caught. <laughs> So you're getting rough recently, unfortunately? Oh, I'm sorry. Now, I'd love to get Machoke to join us myself. I have the faintest idea how to go about catching such a strong-looking Pokemon. What you seem to do, then, is to learn more about Machoke. If something is completed... Completed, really? Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that you're going through rough times. I hope, I hope it all gets better. Come on, I know I can get up here. Oh, maybe. It looks like I can almost get it, like, right around the side here or something. I bring the mood about talking about it. Okay. I can appreciate that. Now I know I can get up here. I know I can. I feel like I just need to go jump around jump around this. Hmm. I wonder. Can they change differently? <laughs> oh no, I almost got it. Ah. Come on, I know I can get up here. I know I can get up here way before. <laughs> Bitch. Go ahead, try it, try it. See what you can do. Yeah, you can't do a thing, huh? You can't do a darn thing, can you? <laughs> oh my gosh, Tiny's almost level 50. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm never going to be able to use Tiny. Oh, we're taking a different approach at it. You still can't do anything. <laughs> the white-haired reindeer. <laughs> Fine, buddy. Fine. Show me what. So, since you're so desperate, show me what you got. Am I willing to take two much oak hits in order to get two hits afterward? I'll do it. But crits, that works for me. <laughs> do I have a definitive final team planned out? Uh, not yet. I have, I think probably, if it's even possible to get some of the Pokemon, five out of the six for like a final team. 
I want to have... Because my main story team is definitely never... It's never a competitive team. That's for sure. It's just whoever I like. Um, so I definitely want to have the three starters, if that's possible. And then Vaporeon and Tiny here. And then as for the last one, I genuinely have no clue. Um... I don't know, again, I don't really know what Pokemon are in this game fully. Um, where was I going with this? Uh, I don't know what game Pokemon are in the game fully, so I don't know if there's someone that'll show up that I like, just want to fill the spot or whatever. When I've heard this game doesn't have it online, so I don't think competitiveness will be an aspect. Yeah. I think there's, like, trading, but I think that's about the extent of online. Actually, is there even trading? I don't know. I've heard of people trading. I could be wrong, though. But I know... Yeah, I, I know. I know my five. I know five of them. If it's even possible for me to get the other two starters, I want to have them on my team. But as for the sixth one, I don't know. Like I think the Miss Maggie is mischievous. Those two, I think those are pretty cool Pokemon. So, because a trade means Evil Mons are still in. I mean, I'd assume so, because I know I've at least seen a couple of them. I mean, for example, there's the Duskull family. They normally only... Uh, they only evolve through trade. At least I... I don't know. At least I thought they did? Maybe they changed it here? We can get the other starters and distortions. Oh, really? Okay, am I really not going to be able to make it up there? I feel like I should, but I don't know. I guess I probably won't. There's an item to evolve trade Pokemon. Okay. Yeah, because you can't you can't use held items anymore. So I guess that would be a little weird, because all the Pokemon that I have seen that are trade Pokemon, they all evolve holding an item. I'm not going to get up there, am I? So I'm just going to run. Actually, eh, we'll just, we'll, we'll fast travel. Yeah, it's still a weird concept, honestly. Especially because, at least from what I understand, um, I, I should probably report in. Caught 21 Pokemon, dang. I didn't realize I caught that one. I caught quite a few, I guess, huh? I don't think I caught anything particularly special, besides maybe a Togepi. I mean, that's a decent chunk of money. Uh, nope, we did not get a two foot. So we need a freaking two foot eight boizel. I still, like, it's whack. Also, what's the difference between the two forms? Shells can be used to get more clothes? Really? Huh. Oh my gosh, I completed 61 research tasks. And a little side quest. I love the overworld, like, no, like, just the text version of Dio Dude's Cry. Because he just sits there and he goes, Duh. 
<laughs> I don't know why, but that cracks me up. Why, hello again. Wonderful timing as always, I see. You really came to my rescue with that pickling stone, you know. You're quite the little helper. So I wonder if you, if I can impose on you again for help with a new pickle proposal of mine. Well, I was down by the sea gathering fresh ingredients recently when, wouldn't you know it, an artillery popped up and sprayed me with ink. Here's the thing. The ink. Well, it actually tasted rather good. The inspiration quite literally struck me in the face at that moment. I knew I could use this ink to create pickles the likes of this world has never seen. Ugh. Am I going for a complete dex? Um, I might, actually. I Honestly, I'm, I'm loving this game. So I think I may just go for a complete dex. And so far... Uh, like, the game rewards you really well for catching new Pokemon and stuff like that, so I think it makes it a little easier to go for a complete dex when the game rewards you like this. So I, I, I may actually go for it. Making food out of a Pokemon that is spat up... Out of something a Pokemon has spat up seems risky to say the least, no? So a little research on artillery is in order, I think. That's where you come in, dear. If you learn more about artillery, please let me know. And another completed Pokedex. I mean, honestly, if I'm even gonna do like all the side quests and stuff like that, at this point, I may, I may as well go for broke and just go for the 100% Pokedex as well. Let's see. I've okay. So we were on the topic of. Oh well, here we go. Yeah, I want to trade Pokemon. There it is. And you can also get items. The shiny stone. Uh, oh no, I don't need the shiny stone because I already have Togekiss. I need the Dawn Stone for delayed. Don't I? Yeah, the Razor Claw, the Reaper Cloth, the Metal Coat. And then there's, of course, the Electrizer, Magmarizer, Upgrade, Dubious Disc. I actually don't know what the linking cord is. Other game structure does make it seem like a lot more emphasized or incentivized. Yeah. The other ones... I was never a shiny hunter. I never really have been. My only... My, the only two shinies I've ever gotten in my life are the guaranteed shiny Gyarados in uh, Soul Silver Heart Gold. And that Ponyta that we got. The shiny, the guaranteed shiny Ponyta. In this game. Dang, I just realized I'm actually missing a lot of these stones. But yeah, I've never been a shiny hunter. So I never found any reason to go and complete the Pokedex to get the shiny charm or whatever. What was I doing? Oh, yes. These evolutions. Yes! <laughs> Laura over the Construction Corps is looking for some advice about evolving his Eevee. Lend an ear to the old chap to see if he can be of any assistance. I know a lot about evolutions. <laughs> when I say I'm not a shiny hunter, that doesn't mean that I don't do anything. That doesn't mean that I... Which game was it? Uh... One, one of the Pokemon games that has Eevee in it. I don't remember which one. I'll have to go and dig through. And I just remember, I was like, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna perfectly Eevee, Ivy, and Nature train like each and every evolution okay i'm just gonna go and create like a perfect competitive evolution for each kind of eve i, I need to find which game that was in i want to say i 
It may have been an X and it may have been an X and Y. I could be wrong though. Man, I'll I'll, I'll have to find it. Remember your first legit shiny was a Halo and Sapphire. Oh. Still young back then. I didn't know what a shiny was, so I just saw it and thought, that's weird, and then ran away. Oh, oh no. I know that my... I think my brother... In... His copy of Heart Gold, I think he got, like, a shiny Ditto or something. Never played X and Y. I don't think it's the strongest in the series. I don't think it left a terribly large impression on me. For example, I can only remember the starter that I chose. I don't even I don't even remember the other two starters. What are the other two starters? Oh gosh, okay, hold on. Now I, now that's gonna bother me. What what were the other two starters? I know I chose Chespin. Finnegan and Froki were the other ones. That's right. a lot of people say it's the worst in the series. Really? I haven't ever heard that it's the worst in the series, but I've heard it's not the greatest, and like I said, it's not from what I remember, it didn't seem like a bad name. No, I wouldn't call it a bad game. I, I enjoyed it. It just wasn't one that I ever really felt like coming back to after I completed it. Stuff like Soul Silver, Heart Gold, Platinum, Diamond Pearl, uh, Black and White, and a little bit of Sun and Moon. Um, I, I, with all those, I felt like coming back to them. X and Y, um, Sword and Shield. I enjoyed them. I still thought that they were good games, but I never felt the need to like go back to them. Uh, you enjoyed it, not your favorite. Just ended up playing it because you felt the urge to finish the Pokédex once. Fair enough, yeah. Almost from the agriculture course, thinks he's discovered something about Combi's honey. Okay. One day, I will have you on my team. You too. Okay, so I saw an image of this guy, and I'm not even sure if it's legit or not. But it said... <laughs> it had the caption of American Education under it. And it said, My teaching comes at the fair price of one million Poké Dollars. And I still don't know if it's legit or not. Honestly, I could see it going there, though. You did well on your mission in the Cobalt I Coastlands. I can never read that word right. I definitely believe that the Kanto games had buying a bike at that price without the voucher. Yeah, I mean, I always took that as it's a, <laughs> it's a way to tell you, yeah, you weren't supposed to get it yet. As for that one though, I feel like you're actually supposed to achieve that. I feel like you're supposed to keep on it. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, I also have to wonder what the algorithm is to go and increase it that high. So far, it's been increments that have been changing every time. First, it was $50, or 50 Poké Dollars per 
And then change it to 100 Poké Dollars per, and then now it's 2,000 Poké Dollars per. Like, it's not changing at a steady, like, linear rate. So I, I wonder... I don't know, I have to wonder what has to occur in order to reach that point. Your efforts are there aided not only the Galaxy team, but the Pearl Clan as well. I do hope your efforts ha will also have an impact on that space-time rift somehow. If we were able to get rid of the rift, it should clear any lingering doubts about your origins. Though we might actually close the rift. I haven't the slightest idea. Remain true to the mission. Notice today's Pavado Mochi tastes a little bit different. Well, that's because I used the Pokemon's Flame to roast them. Let's eat. The birth of a new Lord Pokemon. What a sight that must have been. Only I had journeyed to Fire Spit Island to witness the event myself. I have a hard time imagining you making that trip on Basculigen's back, Professor. Come now. You know my coordination is so poor I couldn't even hit my own foot with a Pokeball. Oh no. He's one of the ones who couldn't hit a broadside of a barn if he was standing in it. And I can't dodge Pokemon attacks to quite literally save my own skin. Of course I can't possibly ride atop a fearsome beast like Basculigen. How are you even alive? Akari's been thundershocked. I've been thundershocked. How are you alive, Lavendu? We'd all do well to remember these wise words. <laughs> the never striving soul is rewarded in the end. And I strive and strive I shall. For the sake of my research, I will surely ride a Pokemon one day and record the experience in our Pokedex for all posterity. Just you watch. Oh man. <laughs> okay, you look incredibly familiar. Like, you look like a past gym leader. That's what you look like. You literally look like a past gym leader. I can't put my finger on who, but you... You look incredibly familiar. Good morning, sir, who came from the sky. Commander Kamano told me to let you know he awaits your arrival in the office. Wait, am I being stupid? Is he not, like, familiar in any way, shape, or form? Am I... Am I, am I being stupid? I have your next orders. Let's go to the Coronet Highlands to quell... If he is, I don't recognize it. Okay, never mind. I'm just being stupid. You must go to the Coronet Highlands. No, no, I just don't want it to spoil. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Must go to the Coronet Highlands to quell another frenzied noble, Electro, Lord of the Hollow. Mm. Electro has a propensity to store up electricity in its body and not unleash it. And since Electro became frenzied, those electrical outbirds have become giant blasts. Mm. We'll be enlisting the Pearl Clan's aid in securing you safe package. Package? Passage to Electrode's seat. I've sent word ahead to Arita asking... No, you don't have permission to go up. Oh, save it. As if you'll be stopped by the lights of you. No, get out of my way. 
Oh, you are not a guy with a deep grub voice. I thought it was the same dude from the outside. <laughs> or, I don't know, maybe you are. I don't judge. Hey, oh, boss man, come out of... Thought the, I thought it might have slipped your mind to send me an invite, so I took the liberty of stopping by anyway. <laughs> yeah, not this dude. <laughs> Melee, why are you manners? We're having an important conversation. Where's your issue right there, Adamant? How exactly did you intend to discuss a lecture without me? It's mighty warning to wait here to weigh in. There's no more to discuss. We've already asked Star to quell the Lord of the Hollow. Oh, come on. Is it me you're trying to humiliate here or our entire clan? Besides, do you really think this flimsy little noodle can quell Electrode? I mean... I can. But I don't think you're wrong with the flimsy noodle part. <laughs> Commander, I'm sincerely sorry for his... For this heedless... I'm sincerely sorry for this heedless interruption. I get no mind. It seems even Security Corps personnel I trained myself cannot stop one so capable as Warden Mill. That being said... Yes? It is clear that the Security Corps needs even further rounds of training from me later. <laughs> Hear that, Melly? The security corps will sob themselves to sleep tonight, thanks to you. You enter sumo moves can even send boulders flying. <laughs> no, no, that'll do. You have your orders. See to it that electrode is quelled. Warden Melee, of course, we would appreciate your help if there's anything you might assist with. Now go. To melee. The galaxy team, well, Belly Star is amazing. And we'll prove it. Follow me outside. I'm. Right. Battle to demonstrate what I'm capable of. Yes, I'll leave for you. I can wait though. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> so I can wait to get obliterated for two seconds. Ah, uh, what am I going to do? At this rate, I'll make a real fool of myself in front of Conlon. Uh, uh, oh, hello. You're one of those kids from the Survey Corps, right? Yeah, you might actually be the person I need to help me out with a little research. My boy Conlon and I are trying to head to the Prelude Beach tonight to try and find the ghosts that are rumored to haunt the place. The ghosts scare the daylights out of me, you're my son. Yep, my, he's terrified of him. You'd think we could just not go and call it a day, but no. I'm afraid his little heart's set on this. But, uh, you know, a fellow can't stay scared of ghosts forever, right? It's too tragic. For my boy, I mean. So maybe if I study up on ghosts, I can find a way to help my boy conquer his fears. You got any... Research data on a spooky Pokemon. Ghastly would be a good one. I'd be mighty grateful if you could share it with me. I'd be more willing to just give him a Ghastly and just say, have fun. Oh, no. I can't do that. Can't summon those Pokemon here. Apparently, I am too dummy thick to squeeze in between the- What are you? Is he buying a sweet treat? Oh, I can just purchase EX- Oh, those are expensive. Um... Can I interest you in some Stardust? I don't think I have any other selling fodder. Unless I want to sell a seat of mastery. <laughs> Definitely drugs. 
Now, before you buy a wee treat, lend me your ear for a moment, would you, lad? I came up with a new treat using candy truffles. It's caused me nothing from sorrow. Every last person who tries it says it's beyond saving. A complete disaster. Utterly terrible. I'm pretty sure these are candies for Pokemon, not humans. That's your problem. Problem solved. But I'll hear you out, I guess. I had to shelve this new creation, and there it remains, in a salty puddle of my bitter tears. <laughs> <laughs> I'll likely never see the light of day again. <laughs> Seems like I'll never be able to pull a profit from my creation, but I'd at least like to share my recipe with someone, lest it be forgotten entirely. You like making things with your own hands, don't you? I could share my recipe with you. I've got plenty of candy truffles to spare. But you need to bring a soup root foot. A soup. Wow. A soup foot root. A springy mushroom and a hoppleberry. Got that? I think I have all those. Yeah, I, I actually do have all those. I just need to... I just need to go and grab it from my box. Hmm, no, that's not quite right. It just needs a little extra something. Oh, just the boy I need. I can use your help with coming up with some new hairstyles. I've really hit a wall here. Pokemon would be great for answer. Mystery boss! Okay, I know my final team. I 100% know my final team. It's gonna be a mystery boss. Oh man, I can't believe they have it. Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh man. I cannot believe it. <laughs> okay, well I know my I know my final Pokemon for my team. <laughs> yes. If I could study a Misdreamus up close, I'm sure I could come up with some new amazing styles. So if you manage to catch a Misdreamus, bring it here so I can have a look, okay? I'm gonna have to catch two. Because one's for me. Oh man. Okay, so I have the hopo berries. I have the springy mushrooms. And then I need one of these. Did not mean to crouch. A suit foot root. That's. Uh, I keep on. Like, uh, oh my god. Why. Why did they have to name something that? Like, I'm not dyslexic, but even then, I'm like, I keep on trying to read it every other combination of letters that I possibly can. I'm ready to learn. Then learn from the master. A swap sack snack? When eaten, this curious snack temporarily swaps a Pokemon's offensive stats with its defensive stats. It's... What's it called? What's the move? There's, there's a, why can't I think of the move that does that? It's really popular with Shuckle. Is it skill swap? It might be skill swap, yeah. I just remember it's, it's big with Shuckle. You grab a Stuckle, Shuckle with that move and Stone Edge, and it literally becomes the highest attack Pokemon in the game. With, like, it's just stupid. This <laughs> stupid physical attack. Well, if it ain't, just typical of our famed Survey Corps, survey corps recruit. Stick to it like a finny on the water. Swap Snacks seems to swap around a Pokemon's offensive stats and defensive stats for a time. A curious sort of mix-up, not at all what I was going for, but life starts up all kinds of surprises. 
And you Survey Corps folks end up fighting against all sorts of Pokemon, don't you? Ah. You don't mean to yawn, I'm sorry. If anyone can find good use for my swap snacks, I'm sure it'd be someone like you. Cool. So you didn't unlock anything new with that. I sell for 600, not bad. Okay, buddy. Uh, I'm gonna go with a preemptive F in the chat for the Leafeon. <laughs> this Leafeon's gonna be obliterated. <laughs> oh, he also has a random level, like, he's probably low level EV. I don't even think. Flame the word hit harder. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> that good old triple damage. Oh, that's right. He can't be affected by normal type moves because he has a secondary. Oh. I forgot. Um, goodbye, Eevee, as well. Levion's your favorite, least favorite evolution. That's fair. See how good Star is now? Yeah? No more sneering at him. Hm. I'm a Sundere. <laughs> now, I think our helper from the Pro Clan was going to go meet you at the training grounds once you're ready. Till later. Glad to have your help as always. Shift yourself. Unless you, <laughs> you want to get even more of an earful than you're already due for. Oh, come on, Adamin, cut me some slag here. <laughs> Stop. Join me in the Survey Corps office. We'll go over the particulars of your new mission. I thought we already did. I thought that was what I was going to the training grounds for. But okay. The survey work will take you to the Cornet Highlands next. We'll be on the rift's doorstep. There's no telling what perils await. To take to the Highlands, you must achieve the rank of four star or higher. You know how. Well, Pokemon and the other Pokemon use items to stun them or induce other effects in the wild. Use such research tasks to raise your rank and aid with any requests that might be found on the Professor's blackboard. Did you really need to tell me that? Now we got a few. Well, not not a few. Just I think just one. I don't know. I can use any of those. Want new moves? Um, uh, let's see. Not not nope. That wrong button. This one. Bulldoze. Lowers the target's action speed. Oh. There we go. Ominous Wind. I like Ominous Wind. Shadow Claw is nice, but I'll stick with what I got for now. Clearly, there's no need to, I think, divvy up the moves. I think at this point, I think it's just special attack is higher and 
since there's not going to be anything which... Oh, it only lowers one stat or the other. They're both going to be lowered at the same time. I guess it's still nice to have that, because defenses are still different. Uh, hit you with a Shadow Ball. I prefer Ominous Wind, though. I like Ominous Wind. We got all the punches. Fire Punch is 75. I don't remember what Flame Wheel is. I'll, I'll grab it, why not? I don't think I need to give Flare all the punches. Should I get you a fighting wheel? Sure, we'll, we'll get you a fighting move. And you don't really need the flying move either, because I already have... I already have a ton of flying Pokemon. So I can get you. I don't know what's. Sure. We'll, we'll grab all these. I think everybody else is doing all right. Yeah, I think everyone else is all right. Go ahead and we'll switch this up just a bit. I'm not going to press that evolve button. Being able to swatch out moves is such a good mechanic. Yes, it is. It's absolutely amazing. Ominous Wind instead of Hex, please. Technically, it does less damage, but I prefer Ominous Wind as it simply has a higher accuracy. And the power is only down by 5 in exchange for having the ability to raise all stats. So... I'll put in Iron Tail instead of Aerial Ace. Um, and then instead of Flame Wheel, which is at 60, we'll put in a Drain Punch. Let's do that. Gonna divvy up your moveset a bit. Be sure that you don't have anything that I just accidentally missed that I can. Yeah, no, you still don't learn a ton. Not pretty. Sure, I'm pretty sure you actually learn a decent chunk of stuff at later levels, but I don't think not, not a ton at the early levels. If I'm remembering correctly, I could be wrong though. There are reports of one of those mass outbreaks out there. There's an outbreak of... Little fish. Sure, let's go check it out. I'll get some tasks done or something. I'm gonna see. Probably best to have Vaporeon out. I have no idea. Does it say? Oh, it says down there. Okay, well, I guess I just keep heading south. Oh, and you know what? I can just... I wish there was a nice and easy way to tell if they were 
over two foot eight. Is it over here? No, still, still a bit more to the south. Hello there. What? You got Pokemon with you? What are the odds? They must have my back today bringing you here. I know we just met, but could you do something for me? I'd love if you can bring me that Pokemon. Uh, what's his name again? Well, the one with the scythe on each arm? Okay. Excellent. I had a feeling you'd say that. Uh, never mind why I need it. Okay, now that's sus. Uh, just bring me a, that Pokemon with a scythe on each arm. I think I have one. On an alpha, alpha weasel, and that's the only way you were able to find it over two foot eight? Oh, do I need to have it in my party? Uh, okay, well, never mind. Bye, dude. <laughs> Is this where... Okay, so I need to keep on circling around the island. Oh, so it's just right here. Found the mouse mass outbreak. It's just four of them. It's just four of them. I mean, I'm sure. Of course, they both get their turns before I do. Of course, they do. Dang it. Oh, wait, they're level 60? Oh. And self-destruct doesn't instantaneously kill you now? Well, not kill, but... Faint? What level? Wait, hold on. What level are all these? 59... 60... Listen, I'm close to these ones now. 60. Oh my gosh. I did not realize that they were that beefy. Now, that's not so much an outbreak. It's literally just a group of four. I only have a Vaporeon. I don't have access. I don't have open access to my box right now. Um, I also don't have easy access to revives. Because I was a dum dum and did not read their level. I think it's right around here. Oh, there it is. Like. Um, the other one is slightly to the north. I really just want that Dawnstone. Too far. Is that it down there? Yep. There it is. There it is. Um, I guess we'll go here. Now I make one. But I can also rest, so I'll do that instead of spending them.
Go ahead and put a couple of those in there. Okay, well... Okay. <laughs> oh, you know what? I want to head over to Lake Virility. What? English is a language. Uh, this way. Uh oh, ouch. My bones. My ankles. Weird air's ankles. That ain't it. Oh, come on, let me up. That was a terrible, horrible idea. Why did I do that? <laughs> and hop. Okay. What is the purpose of this? Oh, hi. They would be around here. Want to turn around there, buddy? Ow. Did you just hydro beam me? Ow. Oh wait, I would have to fight you in order to do this. Okay, that's fine. You're level 55! <laughs> that's not happening! <laughs> not today! <laughs> Time to go and use my infinite number of ore and berries. You are not who I was looking for. I got a magic card. That's, that's good enough for me. Let's see, I can grab these. It's 90, there's 72. Okay, while well, we investigated, I am being targeted. I'm not. Back to the big brown behemoth? I mean, the rock in the center of the lake?
I wonder if I can... Oh, that made him angry. <laughs> Never mind. Maybe? Nope. I don't exactly know what the uh, big brown behemoth is. If I'm being honest, I don't know if you meant this or if you meant somewhere else. I wasn't the rock just ignoring you. Oh, okay. Well, that's what I wanted. Right. Yeah. Take me back to the camp. There we go. Okay. I don't think I caught anything. Oh, I did. Never mind. So it's not going to give me a ton of points, but I'm getting closer, at the very least. I'll return to the village, and then we'll explore the coastlands again. Oh. Okay. There's another outbreak here as well. Probably like level 80 or something, if we're being honest. Where is it at? All the way down there. Okay. Oh, hi. Rude. <laughs> I'm close to it. Okay, I am close, but it's not quite there yet. Is it here? Yes, it's here. What level are you? 33? 30 Excuse you. So you all are actually at level. I don't see anything particularly special, though. Should I just try? Uh, we'll, we'll do something. I don't know. Ow. I'll 
do this. I don't think it's going to do too much. Uh, yeah, probably not. Double edge? Oh, okay. I guess we'll go with this. Liking that double edge, don't you? Okay. I just go with a Vaporeon. So that one's going to hurt a bit more. We're just going to change target. So nothing I do here is going to... Never been into Pokemon competitively anyway, so you never would have even noticed the EV IV thing you mentioned. Ah. Uh, I don't think I've ever been super competitive myself. I just kind of ended up doing it because I wanted to learn how the stats worked. And I was like, oh, so it's more than just the base. And so I learned about the EVs and the IVs and stuff like that. That just... Get over here, get over here, get over here, get over here. You're mine. It's a shiny! I'm sorry. Um... You know what, Tiny? You're actually gonna go into battle here simply because you're just gonna tank. You're just gonna sit there, and you're gonna tank. And I'm actually gonna catch my first legit shiny. Let's freaking go! For being 15 levels over, you. I know! Shiny! <laughs> After we were just talking about it earlier as well. Well, there we go. That's my first legit shiny. That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. A lot more anticlimactic, if I'm being honest as well. That's fine, though. I wonder what the odds are for it. Yeah, that's, uh, that is a genuine question. Because either I just got incredibly freaking lucky with like a one in freaking... 4,000 chance or whatever. Or if the odds are higher due to something that I've done or whatever. I'm sorry, Luxray, but you don't get this heal. This. Achilia. Ow. Um, we're gonna go... Slightly more common. Hmm. Clearly, it's not- it's still not... ...super common. Oh no, tiny! There's a video that was uploaded that actually went into that very thing, but didn't watch it. Uh, 
Yeah, I, I've been staying away from other streamers and videos and stuff until I actually go and complete the game myself. After I complete at least like the main story, then I'll probably start watching other people play if they decide to do whatever. You know what? I could just run away. I'm, I'm good. I'm satisfied. I got what I wanted. <laughs> and I didn't even know that I wanted it. I'm being targeted. So let's see, does that get me anything special if I report this to the professor? I've got one Pokemon here, as I have. No, it doesn't give me anything special. Oh, I guess I should have known that because the, the pony didn't give me anything special either. Wait, what did I complete? Oh. I caught a male and a female. Oh, I didn't even realize it counts the shiny as a separate form. Ah. If you look at that. Well, cool. <laughs> um, we'll continue the excursion, though. So I know... So there's a cave here. I might go and explore that. I know that there's also... At some point, we should be getting a, uh... Oh, what'd you call it? The time rift. Or I can go and catch like Magnazone and a couple others that I saw before I got completely and utterly boofed by a thunder shock. Yeah, it's up here that. Oh, I think I think the uh, satchel is from someone who also experienced the same thing. Yep. <gasps> Pikachu. Hi, buddy. Electivire is greater than Magnezone. I love both, though. Fair enough. Excuse me. Who did that? Caves okay, actually. Get over here, get over here, get over here, get over here, get over here. The cave's entrance is only accessible with Sneasel. Uh, that's, a, that's a new name to me. Let's see, Thunderfinger, Ice Fang. Let's see, so this would be, so there's Stab, Super Effectiveness, and strong style. Three point seven five times damage. Oh. <laughs> you could get a level up from that, nice. A dead Murkrow. <laughs> no, no one's collected mine yet, huh? Can I even? Give it enough time, and it'll turn into a murder. <laughs> So I couldn't tell if that was lightning, or if I just reached a point in the game in which the graphics did not like me. Whoops. I am dead. I am... Nope. <laughs> nope. 
I, I'm not, not, not doing that. Not, nope. I totally wouldn't have just died from height there. Nope. No. <laughs> I know you said that I can't get into the cave without Sneasler, I think you said? Sneasler, yeah. Oh, hi, my trucker. Can you not knock me off of Weird here for two seconds? Um, but I still want to see maybe what's around there. And maybe if I can break my way in. Because, well... I still don't even know if I was supposed to... Actually, no, I actually know that I'm not supposed to get Togekiss. If that Togekiss spawns higher level than I'm allowed to control. <laughs> and yet... I'm still here with the boy. My beautiful baby boy. I got him back when my team was, like, level 20. So clearly there's ways to bypass things in this game. <laughs> Is that an Empoleon? It is an Empoleon. Guess what? What? Don't tell me you got into another car accident. I will personally fly back and slap you. I'm not getting that Empoleon. Uh, that Empoleon, I'm not getting that Empoleon. <laughs> no, not yet. Don't say yet. That is a level 69 penguin. I'm factory resetting my computer. Why, why are you factory resetting your computer? Come on, I know I can get up there. I know I can get up there. Come on, there, there's got to be a way for me to get up there. Yes! Okay. Grab the Viva Choke. I, I always need those. Running low and it's been five years since you've done a reset? Ah, that's fair. Come on, I know I can get up here. I know I can. Let me up. No! Let's try, let's try heading up a different angle. Okay, I bet you I can get up here. So let's go back over to this side, because this side clearly looks better. Five dollars says you won't. I bet, I bet you I can. <laughs> if I'm this close, there's gotta be a way for me to get up there. Okay, we're gonna have to do some... Okay, let's see. So if I can do... How high up can I get with this? Okay, wait, hold on. Oh, I almost did it. Okay, I'm gonna have to use Weird Air for this. Ah. Oh, okay, that works. You owe me five bucks. Did it wrong. Do this. 
it, so he's not going to be kind about it. Looks like there's a little ledge right here that I feel like I can get myself on. Stop trying to Skyrim anime Skyrim. Never. <laughs> There's a little ledge right there that I can hook myself on. Okay, no, no, not that one. Hmm. Okay, so... I need to take it a bit slower. Okay, nope. Slow was not the option. Slow was not the answer. Not the answer at all. Maybe on the, uh, on a different side. If I go here, I can get up to here. And go up here. <laughs> I'm about to get five dollars? No. Oh, come on. I was up there. Gosh dang it. Okay, send me back up. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Let's... I know there's a way for me to get up here. I know, there's gotta be. There's, there's no way. It's not going to be from that angle, that's for sure. Okay, that's too steep. Not there, either. Maybe here? I have to make it up to there, though. But then this is fairly close to where we started again. So, but if I go this way... Ah! I know I can get up there. I know that I can get in here. <laughs> okay. We're gonna, we're gonna go back to trying one right here. than I first thought. Okay, how did I do it before? I got it, like, right around here, and then I went... <laughs> I mean, that's this is how I got that Togekiss so early in the game. So my brain just goes to, there's got to be more ways to do stuff like that. So I know over here I got fairly close as well. The tree can get out of the way. For every game? Ah, for some games. It's usually open world games like this in which they're like, oh yeah, you can climb a mountain, but you need a certain thing. And I'm like, I bet. <laughs> How did I get up on here again? Was I up? Yeah, I was up on this side. No, don't 
don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Okay. What is the next? Mm hmm. Because that's too steep. That's too steep. There's not going to be anything up there that I can grab. It's going to be little tiny. It's got to be like this. Hmm. I wonder... Okay, nope, that was a bad idea. Clearly there's something here. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Perfect. Hmm. I can't quite tell if there's a little ledge there that I can actually get on or not. Maybe if I... I can jump and then do... Okay, no. So that's not going to happen. Do... Not... Not like this, at least. Different hitboxes? No, not quite. Hmm. Two hours and 44 minutes? <laughs> Is that... No, I haven't even been live that long. Um... Hmm. Problem is, I don't see another ledge that I can get to. Unless... I don't know, you think I could stand on that? Oh, until computer is reset? Oh. If I... If I could get over there, that would probably work better, and then I can jump up onto there and then up. But I don't know if I can get over there. Not, not at least from this angle. Not at least from the starting point that I got. I'm thinking maybe like right there where though where the two I think there'd be two different objects. Two, two, two polygons are connecting there. I don't know if if I, if, I, if, I, if that if that doesn't work. I'm dropping all the way back down to the bottom though. Uh, that's definitely too steep for the player to stand on. I'm gonna go eat a pot pie. What kind of pot pie? I don't even think I can. Oh, maybe. Okay, no, that's not happening. Chicken, nice. See, I feel like the instant it goes up, I need to go and like... Okay, no, so not that. See, it catches on something like right there. It turns out what awaits me up here is jack shit. Yeah, probably. I mean, I see items, so clearly I'm supposed to be able to get up there... ...eventually. See, that little ledge over there as well also makes me interested. I'm going to actually switch... Okay, no, never mind. That was, that was a bad idea. I shouldn't have done that. So, over here, this... That little ledge right there... ...was what I got stuck on before. I don't, I'll keep trying for a little bit. I won't, I won't do the entire stream of just breaking the game. Or attempting to. So that's a ledge that I was on. And this... Looks like... Maybe I can get up here? Looks like I can maybe nestle myself into that little... Part that's out there.
maybe maybe only the player can actually do that, not the full weird dude. So let's. Um, not enough. Um. No. Um, I don't. I don't know if I can get up to that ledge then. If I can't fit myself in that little. Oh, oh. Oh man. I. I actually had it there for a second. I need to stop running. I don't know. I'm still thinking that my best shot was probably that ledge that I was stuck on earlier. That was already the closest up there. But, I don't know. If I can get up on that ledge, that would be nice as well. Now let's... Oh, made the jump. Probably a bit too far. It's fine, we're here. Okay, if I can get up there, I I can see I can I can get up. I just need to get on there. That's not gonna happen very easily. No, nope, too far. Ah. So that's a stable point. Interesting. How much time have I put into the game so far? That's the wrong button. Uh, almost 21 hours. And there's definitely been more and more of me doing this stupid shit. <laughs> <laughs> so if I can leap over there. So this is as high up as I can go. Unfortunately, I don't get a ton of air from that. That's part of the problem. So this hitbox is probably not going to work super well for me. Technically did get me a little bit higher, but not much. Huh. That little ledge right there. If I can get on top of that, I'm set. Again, it's like it's always just one step too far. How long to beat list the average game for the main story at 21 and a half hours? Yes, but that's for a normal person who just decides to go and do the main story. <laughs> not, not. <laughs> Not from a dumbass who likes to break the game. Uh. <laughs> oh, I had it for a silver me maybe like 3540. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> <Video scene. laughs> Watch, just, just just you watch. There's gonna be speedrunners in this game, and they're gonna climb up this exact mountain, and it's gonna be a super story skip, and it's just gonna. <laughs> I 
That's actually the reason why I speedran uh, Metroid Dread for a little while, is because I accidentally discovered a speedrun technique. <laughs> Um, I got a couple items I wasn't supposed to. And someone told me, they're like, wait, how do you know that technique? I was like, uh, what do you mean? They're like, that's a speedrunning technique. I'm like, oh. Uh, okay. Hmm. Okay, so I, I landed solidly on something on here. Just a second ago. Okay, nope, that time I fell through. Okay, I'll give it a good a good couple more tries. And then I'll actually go and progress like a normal person. You know how the devs like actually intended. See I can feel it. I catch just a little bit on there. Space time distortion. Ooh. Okay, I'll go and check that out. That thing gets to about mm, three quarters? When it gets to about three quarters, I'll teleport back. That's what I'll do. Wait, what did I respond to O to? Okay, so I do that, I jump across, I come to I don't come to there. Hmm. Okay, I'm going back right here. To anybody who may ever watch this in the future, now or in the future, if you are motion sick, I apologize. Let's try this section again. I didn't get up here last time. I swear, I did it once. And I think it was just out of pure spite of someone telling me that they bet me five bucks I can't do it. And now I don't know how to get back up there. <laughs> oh, like that, okay. So I wonder if the best way is... Looking at it from the side... Hmm. The stream contains time. Did I get age restricted? Did I? Did I get age? Is, like, I can't tell if this is a reference or if you just got the notification. Oh, we're just talking about motion sickness. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what in the world did I do? It's like, I think I said dumbass and shit like once. But <laughs> I was like, I don't think that's a. I didn't think that was enough. Especially not on Twitch. If this is on the not suitable, okay. Well, one of these things has to have a little ledge for me to top on. I can feel it, like, it, it's, it's right there. It's taunting me. <laughs> Thank you. 
No, too far. Ah, uh, no. Please, no. Please. Please. Get me up here. There's a little ledge, like, right... Ah, yes, like, right there. Right? I can just stay on there. No, nope, too far, too far. Like, right... Too far... It's right there, it's like... Well, hmm... Come on now. I'm not crazy, right? He stepped on there. There's there's something that he stepped on before. Like right around here. Yeah, it's like it's that. If I can get a solid foothold on that, that's an that's basically half a jump in height that I gain a foothold on. And that'll definitely allow me to get up there. Because that's I'm like a quarter of a jump away. I can land on something that's going to get me up even just a quarter of a jump. Not that. Ah. Hmm. I wonder if I can walk up to the ledge. I switch to a different monster immediately when I land, when I land and jump as soon as possible afterwards. Um, unfortunately, Weirdo is the only one that can jump. So if I switch over to Ursuling here, or not Ursuling, uh, I don't remember his name, Ursa something, uh, I can't jump. So if I. thinking is... Yeah, and then you also can't change while you're in midair. If you... If you make the switch, or if you jump off, you can't make any other switches until after you come in contact with solid ground. Or Saluna. I'm holding my controller very weird like right now. Yeah, Basque Legion could, but Ursula, Ursula, uh, Ursaluna cannot. Maybe Ursaluna's the exception. Oh, I got a, I got a grip on something there. Not that. No, stop. Stop falling. Please. So I feel like either right here or this one ledge that I... Thanks, game. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm going to call it there for now. <laughs> I know I can get up there. I'm just going to stop it there for now. <laughs> I'll do one last look around to see if there's anything interesting. Nothing too terribly special. <gasps> nope. Okay, hold on. I, I need a I need a pipple. I need I need I need one. <laughs> I need one before I go and fight that. Uh, get into that. No, you don't see me. I, I'm not here. Don't worry about me. Okay, or not. Uh get over here. Don't you dare. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Nice. Okay, now time. Who am I being targeted by, huh? Who am I being targeted by? Let 
Leave me alone, please. Okay, and now... I didn't even realize that it was active. Hopefully I can make it over there in time. I may go and do this off stream. This uh, I may go and do that mount. I may just go and mess around with that mountain off stream. Honestly, because I feel like I can get in there. I'm in. Okay, no, nothing. I haven't cut caught already. Comet shard. I know you can get the rare stones as well in here. Oh, not you. I did need another Eevee, but not not alongside a skun tank and a Mr. Mime. Please don't poison me. It's just rude. Can I just no? <laughs> what level even are you? What are you? Seventy-three? Uh, please don't hurt me. I said please. Please don't. I'm not that much of a masochist. Change on the spot, huh? Okay. I'm not actually not seeing anything new in here besides the big boy. And I'm not catching a level 73, that's for sure. Oh, see, I already have some of you. There it goes. Ah. Well, let's see. What what I what all did I get? Ten green shards. Two comet shards. A blue shard. Is the purpose of those areas just to find really strong mons? Pretty much. It's really strong. There's a couple rare ones. Like uh, one of them. I got, I think the first one that I went into, uh, there were all three evolutions of the uh, Porygon family. So I have all the, ah, uh, curse me hiccups. Um, if I can go, I think they're probably down at like near the bottom. There's also evolutionary stones and stuff like that, yeah. Yeah, here we go. So I got I got all the Porygon. The whole Porygon family without having to trade or anything like that. As for evolutionary stones, I think I found like a, 
think I found like a water stone. I found they aren't they aren't too common, unfortunately. One of these times, I simply hope for a Dawnstone. No, well, I really didn't get much out of that, did I? Oh, that's just a way through, isn't it? Yeah. Um. It's a mess outbreak. That's. Is that. Well, I guess we'll go and get. Ow. Rude. I'm not heading the right way. I need to head this way. Take it. Dude got freaking wrecked by the Alpha A Palm or something like that. Cause there's a stuff. Okay, here's the deal. What of y'all is gonna be female? One of them's gonna be female. <laughs> One of them. <laughs> no, actually, oh, I can. He's not even here. Don't mind me just breaking into someone else's house. <laughs> I didn't even realize that I can go in. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Let's check and see if any of those combis were... You know. I want to see my Pokemon. Yes. Our seventh one. <laughs> it only took seven of them. Oh, jeez. Oh, the shiny. I should probably mark you. Uh, no, yeah, you're marked as shiny. You get the star. Chinese get star. Finally. <laughs> male, male. This is the only female, because those are three males. And if we go over here, there's a two more males. If we go into here, there's another male. I just wanted to be able to get a Vespa Queen. <laughs> now I finally can. I still don't understand the purpose of 90% of the items that I pick up, such as the green shards and stuff. I do not mean to place those in there. I'll take that. Thank you. And then I shall also go and use one of these. Oh, 
Let's see. Is it enough? I don't know if it's enough. I mean, clearly I just made a lot of... <laughs> some advancements towards combies. Yep, maxed out combies. Wait, Comey was already maxed out? Aw, oh, son of a... Okay. Now I'll continue my excursion. Um... I don't know where else to go. I don't know what other Pokemon I haven't gotten yet. I guess I can go and just... I don't know, fight a bunch. How 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 big is the big boy? Forty-five. Um, I could take him on solo, like maybe. Dark's now super effective. Okay, let's go and heal you up some. I just want to fight the Drapion alone. That's fine. How about you? How about you? No, not just... Just one. One on one. Really? No. There we go. And now it's just one of you, right? Right? Oh. Buggy. Interesting. I know it's not... Uh... He want to go with Iron Tail. Go with Iron Tail. Oops. That's gonna hurt. Yep. Yep. That hurt. Let's go with Vaporeon.
Yeah, let's go with this. Lower it back to normal. Stop it. There we go. Okay, so it doesn't matter, I just need to hit him with this, I guess. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Try hitting him with a fire fang and get him with a burn, or I can hit him with a thunder fang and try and hit him with the paralysis. Let's see if I can get him with the paralysis. And no paralysis. And that's death. Yep. I think now might be worth a shot. Ah. That's gonna hurt. Oh. Okay, let's try it again. Nice. Okay, we'll go and we'll heal up again. I would not be able to just take a short little nap inside of that thing if it was raining. I would fall asleep and I would not wake up until like long after the rain stops. See what we can get in here. Oh, I just realized Flare is level 40. If he gets another level up before uh before we get the rank up, he won't listen to me anymore. That's no good. I 
will say, while it was a little bit stupid that I totally didn't fall off the edge here, um, it was a very pretty view. get down here without dying. Okay. I'm going to land on the little ledge, but that works too, I guess. Anything else spawns by the pool. We got a Piplup. Two alphas right next to each other. Get out of here. I should not have led with you. I say that every time because I don't think about it. <laughs> okay. Time for a murder. <laughs> Goodbye. Those are two alphas right next to each other. Oh, and you aren't an alpha. It's still a big boy, but you actually aren't an alpha. Be gone. gonna hurt. Goodbye. Isn't that move normally supposed to go and miss? Isn't that move supposed to miss? Whenever it's not snowing or hailing. Rude. You know what? You got a status on you. Let's try it. That was worth a shot. Okay, buddy. You asked for it. 
Oh. Oh, it crit? <laughs> well. Uh, Blair's not going to listen to me anymore. Um, I'll start catching a lot more Pokemon without him now. <laughs> Wrong, wrong. Okay. I want this, but I also want. Oh, right. Uh, you're knocked out. Oh, never mind. Let's just. Let's run. We'll, we'll run for the moment. I wonder. I go without getting in range of you seeing me, and I just. Oh, nope. Okay, so it's possible, but I have to actually be within range. If the Pokeball just kind of taps him on the shoulder, with me being out of range of, uh... Oh, for a second I thought that was a wild one, I was like, hmm. <gasps> Hi. I don't fight you. Back around, please. Like that. No. It's uh, theoretically possible. Why can't we just T poses when he yells? <laughs> oh, that was too far. Take a boo. He's just standing there menacingly. I want to see if I can do to him what I did with the Togekiss. Except he will be a far tougher opponent to do that with. Togekiss, I think the hardest part was getting on top of the mountain. After that, it was just spam Pokeballs. With him, I have to not get noticed. And spam Pokeballs. Dang it. I'll try one more. I'm sure my odds are incredibly freaking low. Oh, there's also a space-time distortion. Back over there. <laughs> nope, too close. I'm gonna back up all the way again. There we go. Now he's done. 
Warte ein bisschen. Not close enough. At all. Oh, no, oh, I'm too close again. <laughs> okay, let's switch over to the Great Balls. That, that'll be the point. Napoleon used to be my favorite start water starter, but now it's Swampert. I think that's fair. I still think my favorite water starter is uh, Oshawa. Did I not go far enough away for you, Tace? There you go, I'm gone now. gonna head to the space distortion. Well, actually, first, I'm gonna... Honestly, I'm just gonna place these in there. Well, it's like my one singular Pokeball, but... that. We're going to rest. And then we'll head over there. not here yet. I still got a little while longer, I think. Yeah, it's only about halfway ready. So I guess I run around and collect mats for a little bit. You know, this one, I may as well catch one of you. Save me the effort of going and evolving one later. going to listen to me, are you? Bug types like that do evolve extremely quickly. Yeah, you're right. Wait, Flare actually listened to me? Okay. Oh, 
I simply might as well. And then we'll do that. Hold on, I... Yeah, level 40 and below. That is level 41 now. I'm surprised you listened to me. Unless maybe your starter doesn't apply by that rule. I don't know, maybe, maybe your starter is an exception or something. Just gain the initiative. And I you know all three of our punches are <laughs> super effective. Um, I don't know, let's go with an ice punch. Not every day we get to use an ice move. That's my fault, I should have healed. Oh, in that case... Sorry, not sorry, Graveler. Ice is the most underutilized type, yeah. Ice... Ice just doesn't have a high payoff. For moves, I think it can be okay. It has a decent number of things that are super effective. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. So in terms of attacking, it's four and four, which is okay, it's even. That's honestly what most of them are. It's roughly even. Um, but when it comes to defending, um, it resists ice, and that's it. The only thing that ice resists is ice. It's weak against fire, it's weak against fighting, it's weak against rock, it's weak against steel. So in terms of, like, actually aggressive ice, it can be okay, because it's good against grass, ground, flying, and dragon. Some of those types actually being incredibly hard hitting, so it's a it's a nice counter if you have it in the move set. But you don't want to make it your entire move set or your Pokemon's type specifically. Dark. I mean, dark is also very underutilized as well. Like you said, it's got a couple of interesting interactions. For example, Psychic doesn't affect it. Um, and it's part of it's part of a triangle. Um, not not every type gets to fit within a triangle. Um, yeah, in terms of attacking, it's two and three. Two super effective, two not very effective. So... I don't know. Also, I just now realized that this one says that Dragon doesn't affect Fairy at all. That's interesting. 
I always thought it was just not very effective. I don't have enough materials because I put everything away. Oh well. How much time until this thing starts up? It's three quarters of the way there. Okay. Poison Fairy was super effective against it, but never bothered to test it out the other way around. Yeah, same here. Goodbye, Golduck. I can take out both these guys at once, I think. Okay. Maybe not. There we go. change how or if weather effects moves too. Yeah, I know for example raining right now, yeah. Raining decreases damage dealt by fire types. It's not increasing water type damage though, which is interesting. I haven't seen any weather inducing or weather affecting moves or whatever. Granted, I haven't seen any weather besides standard and rain. You know, like sunny day and rain dance? Yeah. I have not seen those. Well, sounds like it's beginning. There we go. Oh. Hello. What are you? Oh, a whole freaking nugget. Nice. Hi, there you are. Um, who do I want to fight you? Probably... Can you stop zooming around for two seconds? Oh, you're actually at level. Um, okay. Let's go... let's go with Ominous Wind. Okay, good. Oh, we even got the stat raise. Nice. Got a metal coat. Um, no. I don't think I need any of you. Ooh, 
Hm. Can I please just get a Dawnstone? That's literally all that I want. I just want a Dawnstone. That's an Alpha Flareon. That was actually probably not the right one to throw it at. I can take a Zen Headbutt. It's gonna hurt, but I can take it. That's gonna hurt a lot, though. Mm, yep. Okay, let's swap. Um... Never mind, I'm gonna run. Okay, uh, let's heal up. least we can isolate the magnemite. That's not going to be very effective. Um, let's go... I don't want to destroy the thing, though. Let's go with a crunch. Just a standard crunch. Whoa, okay. I'm not getting any evolutionary stones. Which is more or less what I actually come here for. Ah, oh, it's a dusk stone, but I need a dawn stone. I didn't realize there was something in the tree. Get out of here. There we go. Oh. Oh, you're an alpha. I see, I see, I see. Oh, I'll leave you alone then. Just a blue shard. Man, I'm not seeing anything. That's a green shard. Let's just fight him. Let's just keep fighting him. I don't know if they'll drop anything special. I don't think they will. 
think they still just drop standard stuff. I don't think they'll drop like any evolutionary stones or anything like that. Oh, there it goes. Okay, well, I know we caught at least a couple things. Let's let's go in. No. I love how perfectly the flamethrower looks. Like, it just... It, it looks so good. It's just... It's perfect. <laughs> Are the stones completely random or do the chances correspond? I have no clue. I genuinely have no clue. Hey, look at that. I have enough for one more space in my pouch. I was going to say, I should have enough. Nice. I found a metal coat along with the magneton. I found a metal coat because the magneton dropped it. Not because I found it on the ground. Uh, I don't know if the evolutionary stones can actually be dropped by a Pokemon. I know that uh, Pokemon do have specific drops of their own. If I go and I open this up... Okay, come on, game. There we go. Like, for example, if I catch or... Ah, excuse me. If I catch or defeat a Ghastly, it can drop a Chesto Berry or a Spoiled Acorn. Um, a Porygon can drop a Sky Tumble Stone or a Ball of Mud. So, I don't know if the items on the ground correspond to anything. You don't sell me anything good, but I can sell you some good stuff. I have Stardust, bits and pieces of myself. Um, I can get you a star piece. I can get you two Comet Shards. I can get you some more Stardust. And I'm half tempted to go and search up what the Shards do, but... That's all I want. Um... But, I don't know, I feel like I'm going to get spoilers if I do that. Might have been able to get a Firestone if I took down the boss Flareon. Possibly, actually, yeah, now that you mention it, yeah, it may have been possible. A mechanical tub? For 20,000? I don't know what that is. Wait, did I just get a puzzle box sent to... Or is it literally just decoration? It's a washing machine for a Rotom. Might just be how it is for the Dawnstone. Maybe, actually, now that you mention it. What Pokemon evolve using the Dawnstone besides Gallade, though? Also, there's a 100% of Rotom in this game. Yeah, because that costs so freaking much. Um, okay.
Yeah, no, you can't tell me that I'm just going to casually buy a washing machine and not give me a... You can't tell me that I'm going to buy an orange and blue washing machine specifically and tell me that there's not a Rotom. <laughs> no, wait, no, that's, that's just that kind of exchange. Uh, no, I don't need anything. I can go in and I can grab my rank change, but I can also go... And this is something I've been needing to do for a while. I can go down to the bottom floor. Wait a request. Snow Art to Frost size actually takes a Dawnstone? Oh, okay. I don't know where I would find those, but I guess that's good to know. Oh, if it isn't a survey car recruit who quad the Lady of the Ridge. Those are the only two that are listed on the Pokemon database. Well, I better hope that I can find a Frostlass or a Gallade. I guess if I can find a Gallade, I... I don't know, I probably won't catch it. I'll probably just try and get a Dawnstone from it, because... I've already invested too much in the one that I... The... The Aquilia that I already have. What can I do for you? You're running errands for joy again. Sending a customer to negotiate for him was bad enough. But toys? Where's his spine? Answering me for goods when I'm already tearing my hair out trying to get pop pods. Sheesh. Oh, right. I put them all away. Whoops. So what else do you have to sell? Oh, you don't sell me anything else right now. That's fine. So there's a lot that I can put away. Do 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 do. Okay. Organize that. Organize this. I need three of these. Hey, bunk. Seriously, there's a, I don't know where to get it, but there's there's a Rotom somewhere. There is a Rotom somewhere. Pods, would you let me have some? Please, just story. Ah, pop pods. They come out coastland's finest feature. You often find these fly seed vegetables washed ashore. The best known as the key ingredient in scatterbangs, those lively items for scaring off Pokemon. All right, I won't send you back to Troy a failure since you kindly brought me these pop pods. Tell them I'll set up some new wares. What do we have? Do you need new goods? Again? Crunchy salt? I don't have any of that. What's this? Oh, it's a fall heal. Ah. Cool. Also, I'm buying like... Okay, not 50 of them. I'll buy like 20.
Also, you want a nugget? There you go, have a nugget. Hmm. I guess I'll move on to the next area. I don't think I'll progress the story. Crunchy salt sounds remarkably unpleasant. That's what happens if you eat all the pretzels in the bag and you're still hungry and you just pinch a bunch of that clustered salt at the bottom. You have made progress, since you earned yourself a star. You are even more deserving of your name. With this, you have officially obtained the rank of fourth star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. I can now use Leiden Balls, or le is that Leiden or Leiden? Up to level 50! I can use tiny. Hyper potions aren't bad, but vivid chokes aren't easy to come by, so. Okay, training grounds now. First, crafting. Crafting's over here. Oh, so it's a. Uh, so the heavy ball is the heavy ball, and then the leaden ball is the heavy ball, but great. It's the great version of the heavy ball. Okay. I'll crash like 20 of them. I don't get much use out of these things, because when it says it's too heavy to fly high or far, it really means that. Like, you have to be within range in which you can just physically grab the Pokemon yourself. Hi. Hello, Star. This gentleman is Warden in... Ingo? Ingo? Ingo. Ingo. We're going with Ingo. Who serves Sneasler. He will guide you to her domain. Please to properly meet you. I apologize for that erupt. How do you do before? I'm the warden Ingo. I understand you'll need a hand from Sneasler in order to meet Electrode. Whether she'll fit... She'll see fit to help you, however, we can only make by... Find out by making the journey. So instead of throwing, you push the ball on the Pokemon? Yeah, basically. Now let's have a safe journey to Mount Cornet. All aboard. Ingo, Ingo's a bit like you, you know. He appeared one day from who knows where. What's more, much of his memories... Oh, wrong voice. <laughs> What's more, much of his memory seems to be missing. Maybe traveling with you will help fill in some of the gaps of in his memory. Oh, yes, I 100% know you from somewhere. Where do I know you? Hold on. Oh, he's one of the subway bosses. That's why. Ah, I, I knew he was a some sort of like boss of some kind. Yeah, see, one of the he's one of the subway bosses from Black and White. That's why. It's like no, I recognize that so much. That's why. Good luck up in the Highlands. Yeah, so here's how far I can throw a heavy ball. 
That's it. That's that is as far as it can go. It does not go any farther than that. <laughs> At that point, I may as well just like tackle them like that and just go get the ball. Get in the ball. Substitute for rocks throwing over water. I don't think these are flat enough to really work, though. Usually, at least in my experience, you need a flat rock for that. Mass reports. So we got Paras here. Got Cricket here. Is there anyone there? I'm actually going to go and we're going to see the surface is, I mean, technically it's flat, yes, but there's an infinite number of flat surfaces that are therefore going to reach contact if you want to consider that flat. Nine degrees and we go. Hi. What are you doing here? <laughs> How could I be so careless? I didn't think the day would come when I would be caught with my guard down. I didn't think the day would come in which I would literally fall off the side of a cliff straight onto your head. But here we are. <laughs> That's the second time this has happened. <laughs> Now you face the eldest of the misfortunes. The unlucky charm will ensure you fall in battle. Oh boy. A ride on. I want you to look me in the eyes. And I want you to watch what's just about to happen here. <laughs> you missed. <laughs> is that is that too mean? Am I too mean to the NPC? She won't kill you in your sleep. <laughs> what I what I think is even better is that I walk up to her. And I go, oh, watch me. <laughs> I turn around and I use a 105 power move. One-shotting each of her Pokemon. And what's better is that it doesn't flip, it only, it doesn't flip the camera over, it only flips the character over. So she flinches while I stand there unmoving. As the screen flashes red and her Pokemon gets one-shot. Oh, man. <laughs> Quite formidable, aren't you? This was only a test. Now I know more about how you fight, and I won't hold back next time. Uh -huh. Sure. I know more about how you fight. You beat me with the same move that you did last time. A singular aqua tail. <laughs> Do 
Three bags of Stardust. That's not bad. I'll take it. Kind of got me a bit turned around, though. Oh, hi. Why do I keep on ending up the wrong way? Okay, I need to go this way. She's got nothing on the Shadow Triad. The Shadow Triad. The Shadow Triad. I cannot remember what the Shadow Triad is. Going to bed, had a fun time. It's good to hear. Have a nice sleep. Okay, which one of you is going to get obliterated first? Oh, I guess it's you. Goodbye. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, the flamethrower animation is perfect. Ends ninjas? Oh, is that what they were called? Ah. I'm just gonna override the poison? Okay. That's fine. Still... Four of you, okay. One! <laughs> oh, I didn't even crit. I think these guys are bug grass, aren't they? Yeah, they're bug grass. So that was... Yeah, so that was Stab. With quad effectiveness and a crit. That did 12 times damage. Oh, imagine if that was a strong style. <laughs> oh, the... Paralysis actually took effect. Thank you for hitting me with it again. Our strategies are not perfect. Especially not if you're just going to keep hitting me with a non-damaging move. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> not my three health. Get deleted. <laughs> I'll say bug grass is the weakest or most vulnerable typing there is. It's probably one of the one of the most, yeah. It has like two quad weaknesses, doesn't it? Oh, and I gotta check this. A bug grass. Yeah, so it's quad weak to fire. It's quad weak to flying. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's quad weak to both fire and flying. Like, that's rough. In grand total, it has one, two, Three, four, five, six. Yeah, it has six weaknesses. 
Fire, flying, rock, ice, and poison. I actually wasn't checking which ones it was. You know, rock, flying, fire, ice, and poison. Yep, you're right. Yeah, that's that's rough. That is, that is very rough. Uh, fire? Okay, hold on. I'll go through them again. So it's fire. Ice. Poison. Fire, ice, poison. That's three. Flying. Bug. And rock. Because the grass type is weak to bug, and bug doesn't resist bug. So it has a weakness there. Bug is neutral on itself. Yeah, not a lot of types are actually neutral on themselves. Now can I go? How far away do I need to go? Oh, who am I being? I will destroy you. Use that. I can use a bunch of these though. Um, nah. Nah. yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Um, we're good with that. I think you also physical attack as well, so we'll go with that. And then, of course, oh, that's enough of that, I think. Actually, well, if I go a little bit over here, apparently someone's bag somewhere. Okay. Am I wrong? Where's the bag? It says it's right here. Is the bag? Don't you try and confusion me, whoever you are. Okay, no, really. Where is? Where's the bag? Right there. And if I turn 180 degrees and just go this way.
Yes, yes I do. I do wish to. Just a little while, we'll heal up. Make a couple uh, never mind. We don't need we don't need that right now. Halfway to a dawn start. Got the perhaps because I've defeated nine of them. And I've defeated seven of them with a fire type move. We'll return to the village. Let's see, you know what, um... I'm gonna go and I'll check out the mass outbreak here, and then I'll probably call it a night. Okay, it's all the way over here. Hi, friends. Oh, that burn is going to suck, but that's fine. Wikipedia lists Arceus as part of the Gen 8 core series. Interesting, since there's been a divide on whether or not it's a spin-off. Huh. So no matter... Okay, that's fine. Just gonna spam the button a ton. And then that one. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. Say so that's not going to do much. Let's go and let's get you something. Let's get you some heals, buddy. Ooh, that's actually quite a powerful move. I'm not able to heal fast enough. Um. Also some, some trivia about a Pokeball, but I'm not sure if you kind of the spoilers. Um. I 
don't know. I'll I'll leave it up to your own discretion. If you think it's spoilers, then go ahead and I guess not say it, but if you think it's okay to say that it's not too big of a spoiler, then or if it's just not a spoiler at all, then go ahead and feel free to share it. I trust your judgment. I think it wouldn't affect how you play the game. Fair enough. How did you hang on with that little bit of health? I'm actually gonna I'm gonna pull you out of there. So this is the first core game to not have the master ball at all. Interesting. I have to wonder why. Let's go with you. tanky, that's for sure. At the very least, I can still kick your butt. Dang it, no stat increase. Okay, I think I can survive long enough to get Vaporeon a heal. Trying to figure out info on how big the world is, but didn't really find anything. That's fair. Whoa. Okay, I'm swapping in Vaporeon now. Hopefully I don't regret this. Now that there's only two of them per turn, so I should be doing better. Come on. You got this, buddy. Nice. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. You can do it. You got this. Yes. Leave me alone for a moment. <laughs> hey, we got some raspberries. Um. Let's start getting your defense up. We'll start giving you some of that to just make you a little more tanky. There we go. Oh, no, you're good. Have an aqua tail, we'll go ahead and restore. And we'll send you back out again. I'll cycle through them all once more. If shiny shows up, then we'll try and get it. I feel like shinies might have a higher chance of, of showing up during an outbreak. I was trying to see if I can get to prove that, but I have no clue if I'm going to get any proof of this. If I can do this without punishment, then yeah, I'll do it. Why oh, you hung on with that much? 
Go ahead and poison me instead of burn, because that lowers my attack, and I hate that. Throw an ominous wind at him. See if I can't get that stat increase to make myself a little bit tankier. Come on. I guess I don't truly know the odds of the ominous wind. Probably something along the lines of like 10 or 15 percent or something. I've just been lucky a few times. Okay, let's let's not. We'll get you the revive, and then we'll go and You lot did not provide me anything interesting. You do not see me, and I can guarantee you. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Let's go ahead and let's rest up. And then I'll save. And then I think we'll close everything off. Wrong one. So happy I can finally use Tiny now. I might mess around a little bit with the uh, with that mountain off stream, but uh, because <laughs> I I thoroughly believe that I can go and I can get up there. But I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and switch over. And then we'll put on this one. Always loved and miss how they did cross-gen evolutions for Pokemon back in Gen 4. Like Mortar, Electivire, Honchkrow, Magnezone, and Magius. For the full-blown new designs that... Like that over the regionals. Oh, okay. So just recolors with slight design changes. Yeah. Yeah. And I especially have a soft spot for Miss Magius, for example. Oh well. I still think the regional designs are at least cool. Like you said, they don't... I don't exactly have the same sort of special feeling to them, but... I, I, I think they're still cool, at least. Yeah. In the end, I just like Pokemon, so...
But I think I'm going to go ahead and call it here for the day. Um. The brain just stopped working. Uh. If you're new here and you haven't given a follow uh, and you enjoyed what you saw here today, feel free to let me know by. Well, uh, giving me a follow. <laughs> probably could have made that a little... Probably could have phrased that a little better. Was a good time? Have a good night? Yeah, you too. Thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. But yeah, if you're new and you haven't dropped a follow, uh, feel free to do so. It's just a nice and easy way to say, hey, I like what you're doing. Keep up the good work sort of stuff. Um, it's also a good way to get notifications. So if you want to see more of my live streams, um, giving a follow will let you know whenever I go live. Um, if you're interested in seeing any of my past content, any of my past streams, feel free to check out my YouTube channel. I have been uploading VODs there. But regardless of how you choose to show your support, it means a lot to me, and I greatly appreciate it. And I hope you all have a wonderful day, night, morning, afternoon, evening, every time it happens to be wherever you are. And I hope to see you all later. Thanks for hanging out.